After China's recent renaming of places in Arunachal, India has started a tit for tat nomenclature offensive to rename two dozen locations within China's Tibet Autonomous Region. A picture has emerged showing an indigenous John JF-2 hand-launched fixed-wing drone being launched by an Indian Army tank crew during an exercise in Rajasthan. India is looking to build a new terminal and operate the Mongol port in Bangladesh, aiming to counterbalance China's presence in the region. A high-level Canadian parliamentary committee have placed India as the second biggest foreign threat to Canada's democracy after China. Indian underwater robotics company Coratia Technologies has unveiled its Jalisim remotely operated vehicle, that has a depth capability of 300 meters for underwater inspection and maintenance. Adani Group is all set to invest over $1 billion to set up wind farms in Sri Lanka, that will be the largest power project as well as the largest FDI in Sri Lanka's history. Maldives President has arrived in New Delhi to attend the swearing-in ceremony of Prime Minister Modi, which is also his first visit to India after he became the President of Maldives. The Startup Incubation and Innovation Center at Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur, has launched the Drone Acceleration and Networking Program to boost drone startups in India. National Aerospace Laboratories will roll out the full-scale high-altitude platform by the end of 2025. Hal Chief has said that Hindustan Aeronautics previously operated under a contracted schedule with a production rate of 16 Tejas Mark 1A jets per year, but under the new plan dubbed as Enhanced Delivery Schedule, two Bangalore production lines will produce a total of 16 aircraft annually, and a new production line in Nashik will produce 8 aircraft annually. Apart from the internal expansion, HAL is strategically involving private Indian companies, that will be entrusted with manufacturing key assemblies of Tejas Mark 1A, including the front center and rear fuselage wings and potentially four additional full structures. Private industry participation will streamline production, and pave the way for potentially scaling up to 28 Mark 1A jets per year. Latest reports indicate that the single-seater Rafale Marine variant is expected to cost around 91.07 million euros per unit to the Indian Navy, which is comparable to the previously acquired Rafale F-3R jets for the Indian Air Force. The Rafale M shares the core capabilities of the Rafale F-3R, but it features extended and reinforced nose section, that is designed to withstand the powerful launch mechanisms of aircraft carriers. The undercarriage is also strengthened to handle the demanding takeoff and landing cycles on aircraft carriers. The Indian Navy's planned acquisition also includes four Rafale B twin seater trainer variant that are priced at 94 million euros each. Russian state-owned news agency Sputnik has raised concerns on India's acquisition of 31 MQ-9B drones from the US worth 3.99 billion dollars and has pointed to the recent downing of several MQ-9 variants by Houthi rebels in Yemen as evidence of potential vulnerability, and also highlighted the loss of six MQ-9 drones within a few weeks, questioning the platform's survivability in contested environments. Sputnik also suggested that the US may be disposing of old weapons similar to their support for Ukraine, and that India might be falling victim to marketing gimmicks surrounding the MQ-9B. Hindustan Aeronautics and Safran have started development of a new engine for the Indian multi-role helicopter program, that includes HAL's active involvement in the core engine development program. This joint venture will not only ensure local production of the IMRH engine, but also grant India intellectual property rights for the technology, that allows India to further develop and manufacture new variants without requiring continual approval from Safran. Today's top 3 comments.